We're here with our engineer. He's going to show us how to install the Super Hitch Everest. Casey, why don't you introduce yourself? Hi, I'm Casey Cotter, Head of Engineering and Design for Torflips International. I've been working on Super Hitch Everest for an extensive amount of time, and today I'm here to show you how to assemble one. Great, let's get started. We have already determined the top of ball height on our trailer, and the magnum shank has been installed. Next, we will measure the top of the ball height for our Everest ball mount and make the mark on the shank. Be sure the top of the ball height on your ball mount is an inch and a half to two inches higher than the top of the ball height of your trailer. Next, you will install your ball mount onto your shank and insert the lower bolt. Now you will install your upper bolt with the supplied 12 point angle spacers on each side of the drop shank. Note, these adjustable spacers enable you to adjust the tilt of your ball mount depending on your specific application. Up to 12 different angles are possible. For this demonstration, we have already determined the specific angle of our ball mount. Next, install the hardened washers and both nylock nuts. These will be tightened at 250 foot-pounds. Now attach your trailer to the truck. Next, you will install your tension bar into the ball mount's yoke. Be sure to install your slide collar first as you cannot get the slide collar on from the other end. Line up the hole in the yoke with the groove on the end of your tension bar and insert your pin. Next, locate your desired location on your A-frame. Depending your design, you can mount the hookup clip one of three ways. Set bolt from the inside, through bolted, or welded. For this demonstration, we through bolted our hookup clips to our A-frame. Now you will jack up your trailer to relieve the pressure off the rear of the truck. Now utilizing your supply tension bar assist, you will lift your bar into place. Depending on your load, you will need to determine exactly what chain link to attach to to give you the appropriate weight distribution. Using the hardened clevis pin, attach your chain to the hookup clip followed by a locking washer and locking nut. Release the tension bar assist and tighten the two set bolts on your slide collar. So we just finished installing the Super Hitch Everest and you're going to see it in action now. But first, Joel, tell me what we put on the trailer. We have 20,000 pounds pull weight, approximately 2,000 pounds ton. Great, well let's go. 